Hello everyone! Welcome to Mega Man X5. We're finally entering into Mega Man X Legacy Collection 2. Where it's all basically downhill from here. Because, <laughs> yeah. Mega Man X5 was intended to be the last game in the series, but unfortunately the people over at Kotcon decided... We needed more money. Oh. We needed more money. I'm sorry, I'm worried that my mic might be peaking. Sounds okay on my end. Seems so, to be working. Emily. How are you doing today? I'm fine. Let me just... Um, Oh yeah, that's the thing that I haven't had a chance to do. I need to adjust... I need to adjust mics. Mm. But that's something we can worry about later. But for right now, we are now in... Mega Man Legacy Collection 2. Let's go. Damn, they made two of those. Yeah, um, they made they made two of them. One for one for Mega Man X's one, two, three, and four, and the other for five, six, seven, and eight. The Do they have not just put them all together. Um, they had them in two separate discs. In the digital platform, you had to buy them both. But if you buy the physical copy, you get them both. It's an interesting monetization scheme. Very much, yeah. <laughs> but happily, the but happily, I think the digital versions were kind of cheaper. I think um, it all came out. It all came out fine in the end, especially since Mega Man's Mega Man X's one through four are the are technically the better games. So if you just wanted to play the better games, you could just buy Mega Man X Legacy Collection one. So here we are. Mega Man X5 introduces Cygnus. And spoiler alert, he is not Sigma. And I'm absolutely being serious there. He is not a Sigma male. Oh. Boo! I'm a ghost, bitches. I'm gonna be late, says Kit. <laughs> this is due to Kit being an extreme homosexual. Can vouch. So let's begin X5. This game, I think, is like vital to read the, all the text on time. Yeah, I said. How much. I set up the <laughs> stream on Discord. Yeah, I'm in. I just appreciate it, is all. Because this is a game you don't want to wait for the text, considering how much there is. Yeah. Because there is, beyond the shadow of any reasonable doubt, this is one of the most, this is one of the wordiest games, and is not voiced at all. Yeah. Can I just say how much I love Dynamo? Dynamo is pretty cool, as just like a um, rogue agent type character. Yeah. I think he's really cool. So I have a choice between between Mega Man X and Zero for this. Uh, for all intents and purposes, the player select doesn't really matter because you can swap between them. And you can swap between who you want to play as. It just depends on whether or not you want the fourth armor early. That makes enough sense. What's the fourth armor? Fourth armor is the armor that you get in Mega Man X4. Ah, I see. X4, therefore, 4th armor. 
Yes. And and by the way, this is the game where they actually start explaining what is hap what happens to X's armors. Because if you play a zero, then you keep the Z Buster, but you lose the fourth armor. Ah. But if you play as X, you keep the fourth armor and lose the Z Buster. So for all intents of so for all intents and purposes. Yeah, Z yeah, like Kit says, Z Buster is not worth it in five. So in the year twenty one double X Mega Man Double X. X. Mega Man X, Episode 5. So, who wants to voice Dynamo? Because the other I'll, person I'll in this conversation shot. is Sigma, and I'll stick with Sigma. Oh, I see. You, you, you've you just decided that you're the Sigma in this relationship. <laughs> I'll be question mark, question mark, if that's alright. That's fine, do it. Yes, it's ready. Piece of cake. The colony is still alive. I can let it fall at any time. Please let me do it now. I'm getting bored. All I have to do is go back to the earth and s scatter the virus. You're exactly what I expected. You're doing a good job. <laughs> Nobody dares to fight against you. Except those stupid Maverick Hunters. I'll do anything for you. Anything. Oh, well. Good. I'm going to Earth to execute our plan. Stay where you are and await further instruction. But I don't think you need to do it, personally. Are they really a threat? Are X and Zero really so strong that you can't let someone else do it? <laughs> yes, as a matter of speaking, Zero. I'll show you what you really are, and who your true enemy is. <laughs> Wait, but I thought you were Zero. Huh? Oh no, Zero's gate too? You'd be surprised. This is Hunter Bit. Oh, um, who wants to play as Alia? And who wants to talk throughout the entire game? Uh, I'd rather not talk throughout the entire game. Uh, oof. Don't worry, right. <laughs> I might be able to have the opportunity to skip Alia's dialogue. This is Hunter Base. You can hear me, X. Sigma male appeared suddenly and moved toward the statue, which is under construction. We lost his trail and haven't picked up any readings since. I've lost contact with Zero, too. That fucker's supposed to be streaming right now, damn it. Where would he go? <laughs> Sigma grind set. No wonder he keeps coming back. You can reach the statue by going straight in that direction. Stay alert! Several machines, even some deserted taxis, have become mavericks in the area. The taxis. Be careful! So yeah, I guess if you need ride, they're taking just a massive amount of toll. There is nothing straight about any Reploid kit. What a terrible sight! The highway's been badly damaged. We've got to find Sigma before he destroys anything else, or we'll be in a very serious trouble. 
Yeah, I think from this point on, I'm just gonna skip Ilya's dialogue because it is forced on you oh, in this game. Good. Because Ilya's dialogue is basically forced on you in this game. It's true. Though it's normal there in Detroit, it says. <laughs> Where is Kid's dialogue appearing? Bottom left. Oh, um, right, he is a bottom. I forgot about that. Yeah. Building is severely damaged, it'll collapse, you already see it. You can see it right there. Yeah, I can't believe we're looking at the severely collapsing building right now. Yeah, this does seem to just be Detroit. Oh yeah, in this game, they also introduced another thing. Oh. You can duck. So you can I you can, can teabag? <laughs> Yeah, you um, can Mega also... Man, jumping can keep you from falling. Try jumping to not die. Yeah, basically, Alia has become roll. Like, Mega Man, Mega Man! To quote the nerd, can I move? Can I play the fucking game? Mm -hmm. I think he says that about X5, too. X5, X6, X7, X8, Legends, pretty much all of them after this point. Ducking in a Mega Man game? Never. Oh, hey, GC. Hello. Zero, are you alright? Um, hey, GC. No, that's X. Someone else. Yeah, um, give us a second. Hey, um, GC, would you be willing to join us? Mm. But for right now, we'll just go yeah. ahead and continue the dialogue. Zero, are you alright? Uh, I guess I'll do it for now. I'm okay. Just a bit of a bruised ego. And a lost arm. That's the that yeah, that's the explanation because he doesn't have the Z Buster. Anyway, where's Sigma? Question mark exclamation point. He took off. Alio's looking for him now, but he can't pick up it. But she can't pick up any readings. He's a- He is a virus. He can't be seen or analyzed directly like other data. You have to feel his evil energy. What, Mega Man? That's the only way to find him. I see. Well, you should go back to the base, Zero. You can't fight him in this condition. I can feel him. Sigma is close by. I'm like, we're all already aware that he's a virus. He was a virus sex X2. It helped with Dr. Wally. <laughs> it helped with Dr. Wally. I know that one, G. I'll leave here so as not to disturb you, but I'll check the surrounding area before I go. I can feel him too. Sigma is very close to us. Be careful, X. <laughs> Stupid Maverick Hunters. You will all feel the true Maverick power right before you die. I'm gonna rest here, X. Just take a little nap. I'm sure you'll be fine as you fight this giant disembodied head. As you do. I love Hong Kong 97. Mm hmm. Hong Kong 97 reference in Mega Man? No way. <laughs>
Darn. That blast released the Sigma virus. It must have spread all over and could cover the Earth by now. All the Reploids are getting severely infected. Sigma! He lost to us on purpose! This is guy, you gotta be careful when you're fighting someone with Robo-Aids. Mm -hmm. We have to evacuate immediately! Now you have to voice Alia. Bully. Bully. The, the hunter's ace. This is hunter base. You on? You read me? Are you all right? Any damage? Are you all right? X zero. The entire Earth has been thrown into a panic because of the map because of the Sigma virus. It's dangerous to stay there. Report back to the base. I know. Darn it, Sigma, you will pay for this. Even if we fight, what good will it do? A battle won't solve the problem. That seems to have solved it so far. The situation is far worse than expected. Sigma's explosion has spread the virus all over the Earth. Humans and Reploids are in total panic. What's worse, the space colony, Eurasia, is heading straight down toward us. At this rate, it's going to crash into the Earth in 16 hours. Oh, by the way, this is one of the things that they did that's really dumb. Whenever you fight against enemies, whenever you defeat enemies, you have the opportunity to gain abilities and such. But you have to let the you have to let the timer kick, tick down for you to gain the for you to gain those abilities, which is completely counterintuitive. It's so. If you know how to play this game, then if you know how to play this game, then doing, then getting all the, then the counter is a complete non-issue, and the entire human race will be annihilated. This is you, bully. We have no choice. For the sake of the world, we must destroy the colony. Alias having a little snack while, while helping. But the only weapon we have in the Hunter Bay that still works is the Enigma. And it's very old, just like it. Oh, we also you. have a space shuttle, but... <laughs> It's been affected by the virus, and now it has robo-aids. The autopilot function keeps trying to kill everyone, so we would need someone to actually manage to pilot it, to fly it into the colony, and let it collide. Because apparently, apparently in 200 years we don't have drones anymore. It's almost certain death. But we have no other choice. Well, after Sigma blew up, he gave all the drones robo-aids. So now they're all Mavericks. How could... How yeah, the condition but so are the pilots. If, everyone, if literally everybody's a robot, then so are the pilots. Man's name is Douglas. 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 So, so you, just want voice, you want to voice Douglas, Kit? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah it's uh, far from perfect. In order to use the uh, Enigma, we need to build it up with uh, some devices. Gizmos, doodads, if you will. The Enigma doesn't work as is. It kind of sucks. <laughs> Under the influence of the Sigma virus, a lot of Maverick Hunters become Mavericks. 
And uh, only a few hunters remain. So who's going to tell Normal. him this is Cygnus? I uh, missed that. <laughs> I missed that too, damn it. <laughs> Made normal. Let's join forces with the rest of our brothers and complete the enigma. We're professionals. So just so we're clear, a lot of Magna Maverick Hunters are starting to succumb to the Sigma male grind set, and that is causing them to become Mavericks themselves. Real. Yeah, the intro yeah. levels is basically yeah. Sigma's not wearing a condom and then explodes. I see. And then, and then the, the the rest of the game is just the fallout. We only have sixteen hours left before the collision. We have to upgrade the Enigma before then. There are four Mavericks that have the devices required to enhance the Enigma. Grizzly Slash, <laughs> weapons for <breaker. I. laughs> <laughs> It's me. Please let I me do him. Can't... I want to do my Russian accent. You want to do what? Wouldn't it be I more fitting to let the Grizz play him? Okay, yeah, that is more. Okay, he has, very he has a Crystal ball. I'll go Russian for you. By the way, very I sure. wanted, By the way, this will be the only time that I'm going to be using their, the original English releases for names for these characters, because I hate the Guns N' Roses references that are all that are completely unnecessary. He has a Crystal ball. I wonder what his other ball is made of. Duff McWhalen. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. He lives in the ocean. He will have access uh, to hydrogen uh, if we can secure the ocean. Squid Adler. Oh, wow. Uh, An okay, ex Maverick Hunter. He, is, uh, he has an engine cart. <laughs> I don't know, they're kind of cute, but that Izzy one's Glow. Fine. I don't mind that one. A doctor of engineering. He has a laser device. As you do. There are four other Mavericks, but these four Mavericks are the only ones who have the devices need to upgrade the Enigma. X-Zero, you're the only Maverick Hunters who can catch these Mavericks. Split up so you can gather the devices. To check the devices that you have acquired, press the R1 button on the stage select screen. And go... In case you can't, the in case you can't keep track. In case you can't keep track of four. <laughs> and fulfill your mission. I've completely lost interest. Yeah, sorry. I like okay, it is a very dialogue, very dialogue heavy, very dialogue yeah, heavy you game. Do, yeah, you collect parts in, you collect parts from fighting against, because all the um, Mavericks that you fight have that level, have the level system now. So if you fight higher level Reploids, then you get more parts. But the problem is, is that if you know how to play the game, then the level system is completely, is completely meaningless. Oh, by the way, I, I have, mean, by the way, I have the option to fire the Enigma now if I want to. But the more parts <laughs> you get, the higher percentage you have to. Yeah, see if you press if you click on the Enigma status, it says accuracy thirty two percent. That would be kind of funny if, like, after all that speech about how we need to grab these parts and upgrade the Enigma device, you just walk over to the firing button and slam your fist into it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh no, the I... Sigma virus is here, spamming your chat. Hello, is, Barbarian is... Confort 2. I do not accept your promotion. And by the way, bang. Hello. Testy, testy. There we go. Hey! Oh no. It's our favorite. We selected set. the Maverick Salad Cat. I am a Maverick Salad Cat, yes. How's it going? Going great. Let me just. Good, thank you. Let me just adjust you. Let me just adjust you real quick. Oh boy, yeah. Uh, finally got some time to get on and see what you guys are up to. Uh, but hey, Mega Man. So the salad cat has joined, and as the world is in peril, this is so sad. Rodham, play Sprigatito. <laughs> Say what? Ah, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Sprigatito. So I'm trying to remember who. Trying to remember who I normally go after first. Yeah, I think so. I go if you beat Game Cobra, so if you beat Game Cobra, do you get weed as your weapon? No. Yeah. Uh, you get or a uh, white white you get, mage. You get, you get fiber. You get a 
you get a big old thing of Canadian bacon. Actually, I remember, oh, yeah. I, I remember when I was uh, making this character, I thought of a Mega Man power up at a time, but I don't remember what it was. Jeez, now it's been so long. This is like Crescent Grizzly. This is like 10 years. Oh shit, that me. I also think Crescent Grizzly was the first guy I fought in this game, though. Yeah. I like his design. Destroy the Maverick trucks, then you'll be able to reach the security warehouse. Yeah, I could have figured that out for myself. Thank you. So you must, uh, you must feel pretty, pretty blessed, GC, to to have X Five be the one, the first one you join us for out of the X series. Oh, I mean, it's the best cool. one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, the boss. The, I love the the. Uh, the throwback to the old, uh, they, they did the remake of the old music, oh, especially, this has the, uh, in my opinion, the best Dr. Light, uh, capsule music. Oh yeah, that is good. I, I mean, it's, it, it's definitely not the worst X game, it's just, it, I just, it just baffles me that it went so, that it went so downhill when X4 was so solid. Well, yeah, voice acting notwithstanding. Yeah, the voice acting, it was the problem. The story directions in this one surprised me. That's what surprised me the most about this one. So many different paths. Although I do like them getting more into Zero's. I mean, they've been teasing it since X2. I do like them getting more into Zero's ultimate kind of yeah. deal. Yeah. Yeah, but the problem with this particular game, and I am just going to state this 100%, is that this game is RNG. Yeah. Yes. Very much, yeah. I don't think you should ever have it in an X it. game, but all right. What just killed you? Um, I touched, touched the, top. the side of a spike. The most deadly part of a spike is other than this. Oh, right. I forgot. Those little decorations on top of the truck will kill you instantly if you tap any part of them. Yes. The future's a rough place. You can get hit with missiles, lasers, grenades, bombs, trucks, but uh, anything pointy and you're just done. Take the guy armor. That would be funny if Dr. Wowie sent his most deadly devil after you. He just constructed out of the same material they make the spikes out of. It's a spiked <laughs> wall, man. Say, why hasn't there been a spike man yet? That would be, like, awesome. Well, technically, there, there is, is probably. Needle. There's technically Needle Man. Yeah. yeah. The Although there is the devil. Shadow Devil in this one, and that's definitely the toughest of the devils, in then my opinion. And there's uh, Rang the Bango as well. The evolved rang the manga in this. Yeah, they really wanted X5 to, to go out um, with a lot of references to everything that had, came, that had come before. It was heavily rumored uh, back then this was supposed to be the final Mega Man X. This one, this 100% was, was like, it's not even a rumor, it was a straight up fact that this was supposed to be the final game. But then, Megan, but then the. But then the guys in Cap, but then the executives in Capcoms went behind um, Inafune's back and made X Six. Yeah. Um, the thing about the thing I'm, I'm trying to remember about that, uh, who confirmed that uh, that they did that behind Inafune's back? But that's the thing I'm trying to figure out. Uh, but there was a lot of talk about back then that that's what basically happened. Uh, I think it was PlayStation Magazine back then. Yeah. Ah, uh, dang, we don't have Aiden here to to have oh. the perfect. Oh. <laughs> so who wants to be... So who does a good, uh... Who does a good, uh, Rick Sanchez? <laughs> uh, yours is pretty good, but I can give it a go. I, I'll go ahead. Yeah, I can go ahead and do it if you don't bet. Uh, no. yeah, you're... Uh, X Morty. <laughs> X Morty, we're having <laughs> serious trouble again. It's like a nightmare for reploids with the virus everywhere. It's like. Are you doing the abridged version? Okay. It's too dangerous to keep the parts for enhancements as soon as you pick one. Therefore, I'll give you a data program for parts. You're gonna have to collect them all like it's a frickin' Yu Gi Oh deck, Morty. X Morty. <laughs> Analyze the this armor. data to your main memory in a secure area, then complete the armor. For security reasons, the program is divided into four segments. You know, like the armors you normally collect. It's just that yeah, you can't use them until you collect them all. 
It's actually really kind of stupid. Why the fuck did I do this? <laughs> Once you gather and upload oh, the four parts, the armor will be complete. <laughs> yeah, like Morty. I'm so drunk right now. Nothing happens unless you collect all four. Good thing, good thing you have that uh, fourth armor. Otherwise, you'd be uh, a little bit screwed. Um, her name is uh, Alia, is it? She's uh, kind of annoying, but hopefully you'll be able to like control her comments. It's actually kind of sexist. <laughs> she can analyze data and help you upload it. Anyway, here's the program for some thick legs. With this leg part equipped, you can fly <laughs> through the air, and you're also invincible while flying. It's actually, like, even more <laughs> broken than the helmet I gave you last time, Max Morty. Yeah, not a bot. <laughs> so how was that? That was pretty good. There's no bot. Hmm. Aiden's always cracks me up, but I'm pretty sure it murders his throat after it, like... After we got all four of the parts in X4, he's like, he's like, please tell me that's the last Dr. Light dialogue, please. <laughs> yeah, and on top of that, um, in X4, you also have the option to change the, to change the hands. So I was thinking, <laughs> so I basically said, huh, maybe I should change my hands. Nice. Uh, great, we have more of these scammers in the chat. Actually, hold no, on. Uh, I that think that one might control on us. Um, that's Vully trolling us. <laughs> okay. I apologize you guys for saying that. I don't want to have any chats. Yeah, you, you yeah, yeah, I don't have any mods yet. <laughs> Hot single Hot robots single in your <laughs> area? Guaranteed virus you free. Click here. Maverick. Hunter. I never expected to see you. What an honor. We have no- Please egg. Sorry. We have no time to fight you. Just give me the crystal ball. The virus is already taking control of me. Soon I'll become one of the Mavericks. Let us fight. We are destined to fight anyway. Fight me while I'm still conscious, please and thank you. I ask once. I don't want to waste time with you <laughs> when the virus has taken control. Please I understand your situation, you. but we don't have time. Please understand. We're dealing with the fate of the entire Earth. We, don't, can't, we can't have waste time fighting you. Yet. <laughs> yeah. That is all I say. No one can escape destiny. I'm sure you know that too. Decide. This is part of your mission, isn't it? Now fight me, Maverick. Hunter. Pick on someone your own tiny baby size. Man, for robot series, these guys sure have a lot of belief in destiny. It is a very fatalistic thing. Def definitely was made in, in some ex-Soviet state, no doubt. Probably. I do like his design, like, the thing is, the music and, and designs were always on point, even if the other elements suffered. Mm -hmm. Also, this is one of the rare times where they, the, uh, the robot master attacks you from the wall. Mm. At least he's less of an asshole than ground, man. Yeah, that's totally fair. I do like this boss theme, even though it's kind of surreal. I think the boss themes from the first, uh, from X4 were better. Plus, the, uh, the, do the, the final, like, the remixes of the original Mega Man X themes in this one are top-notch. Oh, for sure. Haha, <laughs> in Soviet oh. Russia, man mauls bear. Yeah, X4s were really dramatic, I must admit. But I think the, in terms of just, like, general vibe, X6 had a very groovy, kind of funky, weird aspect to it with their boss theme. X3 had, like, it was very Doomsday-esque. Sort of like what they did with, uh, 
the original Mega Man 3 action. Like the fade wars on you, Mega Man. And that seems to be a, a common theme right now that I think about with X with Capcom games, is the third one. They basically they make the hype they basically hype it up to be like it's the uh, it's the finale. Except it's not. It's we got a sequel coming after this one. But the crystal uh, ball. That's good, uh, now your laser can tell the future. Hooray. Ah, there's our buddy Domino again. Domino. Dynamo. I'm glad they kept his music in it. Or... Dynamo. Yeah. Vili's muted at the moment. Uh... Oh, oh, I was wondering why you are skipping through my dialogue earlier. I was skipping through the dialogue because <laughs> that dialogue is the same every time you get a new weapon, so I'm not even going to bother. Wow, this will greatly increase the tra local trout population. It'll be fantastic for fishing season. <laughs> Incoming every time. message, <laughs> you're gay. <laughs> what could it mean? <laughs> why are they saying that I'm a homosexual? Look, dialogue's just trolling you, man. I mean, that guy's a troll, Sources unknown? I mean, that guy's definitely a troll. Who's this? <laughs> I've never seen him. Nice to meet you, Maverick Hunters. I have no hard feelings toward you. Just soft ones. But this is my <laughs> mission. Before long, I will attack the Hunter base. Oh, I'm Mr. X and Mr. Zero there. Holy shit, Mr. X is back. Please play Please. with me. I'm really bored. I guess the ecstasy is bare enough. We'll fight like true sportsmen. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot to introduce myself. I am Dynamo. See you soon. How dare he? At a time like this? Should we even attempt we to even... fight against one so arrogant? Yes. You can't tell me Dynamo. You can't tell me Dynamo isn't the exact sort of person who would like upload a virus to Maverick HQ that would like make every screen either show boy kissers or a rickroll. <laughs> he downloaded 500 copies of Bonzi, buddy. Oh god. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's even worse than the Sigma virus. <laughs> Animo is the creator of You Are an Idiot. Title Whale. The greatest the greatest recipient of uh, having his Japanese name restored. Because it because his name in the English dial in the di in the original English version was Duff McWhalen. <laughs> Oof. There are totally people that there are there are, there are plenty of people that actually really like that. Well, totally like, not. Wow! It looks like a giant ship. You five five is coming right at you. I don't believe it. It's belong to a marine museum. What an incredible influence the Sigma virus has! It belongs in a museum! <laughs> but so be it, to secure the sea, we must destroy this invaluable piece of history. The entire sea. Maverick Hunters are taking the entire sea. All of it. In the museum. Between this and Mega Man 7, what is it with these morons putting, like, murder machines in museums? Good point. It's oh god, now I want to... Oh god, now I, now I absolutely need to hear his dialogue read like Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> by the way, um, the, the... By the way, if you hear the soundtrack, it's the same sound... It's the same song for, um... Bubble Crab, I believe. Yep. Oh, it's a good song. You act like you're the richest maverick in the world. I am the richest maverick in the world.
I wasn't sure how that was going no. to work out, but David Tennant was actually an amazing Scrooge McDuck. I'm surprised. Yeah, he was really good. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. Uh -oh. Brave's been DMing me, and I did not notice for some reason. Move for it now. Oh, never mind. He's in a good mood. He's drinking red cream soda. Oh, thank uh, God. Barks just oh, saved my, my life. Good. Oh, I need some red cream soda. I got a few in my fridge. You want some? Yes. I'll take one. Oh, yeah. Here, let me grab one for you. Much thank you. Good. What's the big idea? This is blue cream soda. Yeah, Voli, you can invent, like, aperture portal guns, but you can't get the right color of soda. Ah, here you go. You're welcome. This has a, if, if I open this and there's foam snakes inside, I swear, we're going to have words. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, that's how the carbonation comes out. Duh. Why do these mavericks keep calling me boy kisser? <laughs> Coincidence, I'm sure. There you go. There you you go. can pick it up inside the voice text. More like Oklahoma sexual soda. Ha 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 ha. Oh, reference. I wouldn't trust anything from Oklahoma like that. Yeah. yeah. Sex or not, I don't trust Oklahoma. <laughs> All <right>. True. <laughs> <laughs> I just find it kind of fun to find weird sodas from random states. Yeah, that's always fun. It's a lot of Texas ones. Like, you're in good hands when it says, like, pure cane sugar. It is definitely oh, better, like, I... It is excessively sure. sweet. Mm -hmm. I'm into that. <laughs> of course you would be. <laughs> hey. I was I was an utter sugar fiend in high school and through a good chunk of college. I've kind of tempered uh, that. that like I would not start I would not start a day without like a Mountain Dew and a box of Gobstoppers or something similar. Yeah, you just need to stop your gob mm -hmm. with some Mountain Dew. Mm -hmm. Hey, I, I just <laughs> tell. Uh oh. Like, what is this place? What? Are you stuck in an old ship? The U fifty five is trying to escape. It went deep in this direction. That is what she said. Follow it. No, she really said that. That wasn't me fucking around this time. I'll see your soda and raise you. Let's say, should you tell him about the faded Skittle will do? Oh, Skittle God. <laughs> worst. Oh, okay. So, a lot of you know about some of the worst things I've ever done. Uh, but. Definitely not the worst. Um, this 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 makes the birth of Luna look like my like a contribution to fine art through the ages. Um, so in high school, there was a Simpsons joke where Homer goes to um, where Homer goes to the Quickie Mart and he asks for Skittlebrow, that delightful beer with Skittles in it. And he's like, "Sir, I do not believe such a thing exists." Um, and so like. So we had this horrible idea to be like, okay, what would Skittles in a drink be like? Okay, well, we're too young for beer. What do we got? Mountain Dew. Uh, by the way, this so, game does, um, by the way, this game does the same thing that X2 did, where you have to have the Maverick's weakness in order to get their thing. Hmm. Um, so we, we, we put the Skittles in, like, and we don't mess around. We put an entire bag of Skittles in. Um, into the beer. Continue. Yeah, yeah. Did we just uh, kind of um, kind of let it chill for a minute, trying to decide how best to to deal with this? 
So yep. like while we're deciding whether we want to like drink it with the Skittles like in there or just like use it for some kind of Skittle flavoring, it turns yeah. a delightful shade of the most god awful brown you can imagine. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> so um. So we end up trying it, and it was so sweet that, like, I think I actually made my eyes water. We we ended up we ended up um, we ended up deciding to to keep it a death pack between everyone who was in the room, so the Geneva did convention didn't come for the rest of us. I know uh, Barry Splash has a bit of an obsession over something called a spriddle. A spriddle? Huh. Yes. Sprite and Sprite. Sprite and Skittles. Sprite. Sprite yep, there you go. That doesn't sound awful. At, at least it's better than, like... Mountain Dew in a turn Mountain brown. Dew, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's like, taste the rainbow, huh? Conditionally. You decided to mix the gayest candy in existence with the straightest drink to try and make bisexual perfection, and it didn't work. No, no. I mean, like, you, you, you'd think you, you were, were you're expecting it to be like all pink and blue, and then it comes out as just like, like this, this the most repulsive brown you can think of. Was it? Yeah. yeah. After drinking it, he turned asexual for five days. <laughs> Thankfully, it wore off. But can you imagine if that got out into the world? Was it good? It's like the anti-gay bomb. <laughs> Would you yeah, like was your idea, GC? Like was your idea, GC? You want to read it as Scrooge? Uh, let me try. Oh, welcome. Back. I'd like you to let us use this ocean since it's the nearest to the hunter base. We need to produce large amounts of hydrogen. You intend it for nuclear fusion. So then, are you going to use the good old Enigma? Y yes. If you know that, then please cooperate with us. I'm a man of the sea. I thought he was a whale of the sea. And I will not allow you to use my. See freely. You might think I'm stupid, but you have to fight me. I understand. I accept your challenge. Oh, jolly good. Let's go. Well, must be bagpipes. I didn't think he'd take me up on it. Bagpipes. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, for X5 for X5 and onward, I'm not even bothering with I'm not even bothering with freaking just beating them with the freaking X Buster. I just want to get these games over with. Now you're done torturing yourself yeah, for our new Yeah. I'll torture myself for the good games, but not for but not for these ones. I, I can't play it, yeah. I, for, I forgot they had level systems in this one. Ah, oh, that was a pain. Yeah, the problem is though is that you have to let the timer wind down to love to allow the Mavericks to level up so that you can actually get abilities from them. In this one, it's completely dumb. It's completely backward. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, Ilya says the exact same thing every time. Yeah, she she don't shut up, do she? No, she is an omnipresent uh, thing in your ear. G saver and F splasher. I think by the end of the game, X and Zero are like, please just let the virus take me. By the way, that's I'm another thing. You. But there's another thing about um, the game is that you see the indicator on the bottom right, on the bottom left, where it says normal. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you play as if you play as X. The more of the virus you get, you become you can become infected and start taking damage over time. But if you play a zero, if you get hit by the sigma virus, then you then you actually gain a then you enter into a far more powerful state for a little while. 
Yeah, you oh. get it gives you full health and it gives you a brief immunity, yeah. Also, I would like to point out that since Kit mentioned mentioned that the uh, Skittlebrow episode had come out when he was in high school, I decided to do a little bit of digging. May sixteenth, nineteen ninety nine. Oh, you, 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 you oh, twist the dagger, why don't you? Do? <laughs> <laughs> emergency, <laughs> emergency! Dynamo is attacking the hunter base. Fight back immediately. This, one this guy episode's can almost as old as I am. Uh... <laughs> it was my first year of high school. Does that help? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Not very much. Dynamo. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my icon. Look at the evil in my eyes. Nice to meet you. You are Rex, aren't you? The famous and persistent hunter. Who are you? And what do you want? Well, to stretch a point, I want to disturb what you are doing. Oh, don't worry. I just want to disturb you. I don't intend to kill you. If but it happens, it happens, but I don't intend to fight to the death. Don't you? No, we don't. Well, if you fight me and die, then I'm sorry. But I'll play less than my best. Now, shall we let the battle begin, X? The first rule of Gate Club you always talk about Gate Club. I do like his weird beam saber variant. Yeah, it's like the yeah, almost scythe. No, oh, fully. We're not. I don't think we share servers where I've actually shared art of my my sword boy. Speaking of beam swords, I'll put it in zeros if he doesn't mind. There you go, I'll put it in general. Oh, these aren't like laser swords per se, they're just, um... Techie swords, but... But he can't produce yeah, a... He can't produce a beam slash out of them. Oh, I'm dead. Just, just kidding. Thought, you are strong. You never let up. I'll retreat with this result, but I advise you to relax a little, or you'll die from all the stress. There's some truth in that. Well then, adios, amigo. Life wisdom from the ostentatious yeah, by the way, maverick. Can, by the way, in X6, you actually hear him say, Jenna, and then he fly, and then he warps out. Basically, yeah. um, Japanese for That'd see ya. Awesome. I always thought it was Jada. That's what that's what he sounded like. So, <laughs> life up. All right, there you go, Vully. Admittedly, I haven't played X Five since I was since about total oh, rank. Man. Ah, must be a fox. <laughs> Twenty-five years. Wow. And then you got to redo the submarine fight. I'm sorry. Oof. Yeah, that's why um, I'm not a fan of that. But I'm just gonna go yeah. ahead. And, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, do this now. Oh, by the way, this is the game that also introduces um, saving Reploids. Oh yeah, that's right. You have to like, high-five them or something. Yeah, you know, you give them the high-five of life, and suddenly they're yeah. fine. As you do. 
It's like the Final Fantasy VII logic. Like, Tifa, I'll help you by picking you up and setting you down ten feet away. <laughs> You'll feel better in no time. I don't know, maybe there's like a reconnaissance chip in like X's hand that sends him back to base or something, I don't know. Yeah, one of those they mentioned it in, portable things. Yeah, they mention it in um, they mention it in um, the Zero series, but I think they do have an equivalent of that in the X series. Something called a trans server. Just like oh, me I belong to a, I belong to a trans server. Might be a little different though. Just like me for a friend. Come on, I think every furry knows at least one trans server. <laughs> so Jonas did your current uh, your current profile pick, right, GC? Yes. Okay. Because it's because uh, he's currently doing. Um, Requests for Halloween PFPs, and I'm trying to see if I have the money for it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say. I've been doing other things. So. I was gonna I'm say. I'm not sure. Uh, sorry. Sorry. No. No, it's, that's okay. I, I do that quite a bit. I don't keep track of what the other people are these days. I am just basically on when they're on. Oh, it's still nice to hang out. Oh yeah, like I said, whenever I have the free time, I hang out with anybody that I know on Discord. Pretty much my go-to place now with social media these days. Oh yeah, I hear that. I'm not a fan of social media at large, but Discord's been real nice. Yeah, I don't really. Yeah, I don't have any. I don't have anything regarding um, social media. I, I pretty have much more the closest as, thing. Uh, the closest thing I have. The closest thing I have is like Discord and YouTube, and that's it. I I have no desire to go to freaking. I have no desire to be a part of any of the other um, social medias in any capacity. Yeah. Oh, these, I never wasn't yeah. really a fan of uh, social media either. But at the same time, like uh, because I was a huge fan of House Pets back then, and I wanted to talk to people on social media about House Pets, at least, I started joining. Him on there, and that's pretty much all I really use Twitter for, honestly, is to catch up on Rick's uh, house pet things. Yeah, Rick was pretty active on Twitter, huh? Yeah. And at one point, he still is a little active on uh, Facebook. He used to do some sort of a house pet uh, time flow kind of magazine kind of thing way back. Oh boy, that was uh, when he was active on Facebook. I heard the forums were an interesting place back in the day. Still are, but it's pretty much... It's pretty slow now, yeah. Pretty much just fan art and people talk about the good old days. Still pretty good. Oh, by the way, oh, um, the total rank... Eh, ah, or total rank A. <laughs> now that reminds me of some Call Me Johnny streams whenever he is trying to do an... All A rank of a particular game, more specifically any of the oh, 3D man. Sonic games. Oh man, Johnny's hey. one of my favorite streamers in that regard because he reacts so sincerely. He doesn't hyperbolize anything. He just legitimately will like, like, will have this expression of "I hate everything all the time. Why am I doing this?" <laughs> I, I that's my my opinion, the best way to stream. There. there. Okay. Woo. Uh, X Morty, X Morty, this is the, this is the slick body program art part for the Falcon armor, X Morty. Analyze and upload the darn data to your main memory, alien mem mem meme memory, Morty, X Morty. Once you upload all four of the X Morty programs, the Falcon Morty will be completed. You get to fly. You get to fly with less damage, even though I already said that you'd be invulnerable when you're flying, X-40. Uh, uh, uh. Don't overestimate this part or you'll regret it. Yeah, the music is still killer. 
I have it on my favorite list for YouTube. Nice. That's how much I love it. No, I get so jamming to game music is actually my favorite thing to do at work. Um, yeah, yeah. And uh, the nice thing is I work from home a lot of the time. But even when I go to my office, they they move me to my own office. And I've got just this big ass door and they put a sign on it that says, like, unless you need something, um, leave the developers alone. Uh, talk to this person first. Um, and so I kind of just crank it. Mm. This one is the worst. Because oh, I... is this the ride chase one? Yep. Oh, shoot, right back. Oh, this is a bad oh, ride chase God. one. You gotta get all those parts. Yeah, this one's a doozy. Wow, this does not hold back any punches. What the hell? Oh, yeah, no, it kicks you in the dick as soon as it starts. You know, it's interesting. They actually have found, um, researchers have found that for work and studying, video game music is actually statistically the best music because it cognitively engages you with whatever task you're doing. I mean, it depends on the uh, the game music, probably. The Sonic Spinball option screen probably is the best study, buddy. <laughs> I believe if you hit continue, it doesn't reduce the countdown. Hello. Yeah. Oh, I'm doing it. What the f what the heck was that? <laughs> Dan is what uh, it was. <laughs> uh, the, I think I think I think I think the the specter of Dan has has haunted the the stream. I need to die again. Wow, this is like the like jump jump slide slide, but like even more fuck you -y. This is Wow, I don't remember being this bad. Dang it. Oh my god. It is this bad, and I wanna get this done now. What? Now. Yeah, rightfully so. This wow, this sucks. <laughs> I mistimed that. I mistimed. Yeah, you should you should have you should have been there, Grizz. Uh, when we did um, when we did Mega Man Eight. Dang it! I oh, you were there. Uh -oh. I should have dashed and um, tried to shoot. Uh, when we did uh, Mega Man Eight. Uh, Zero did the wily jump, jump, slide, slide in one in his first try. Well, no. Zero's not good at video games. How could he have done that? You did By not. muting all of you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's better. Like, my sanity can only take so much at once. Of course, that the devil on his shoulder comes back for that moment. I think I that is, like, my least favorite Mega Man classic stage, like, ever. I think it was half for focus and half to like screen out the 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 epic poems of swear words that that sequence could elicit in, in, if it goes wrong. Yeah, that's fair. You know, when when I got Mario Maker for the Switch, uh, one of my first levels I made, I need to be uh, I used the Mario slide music, and the level was called Jump, Jump, Slide, Slide, and the description was, "If you get this reference, we should be friends." <laughs> Dang it. I am gonna do I am going to do this without Happily the countdown does not go down if you hit stage unless you hit stage select. Oh. Interesting. Yes, yeah, some of us are Damn. apparently geezers who used to play video games where lives matter. Hello? Are you alright? Right? You couldn't walk here because of the risk. Yes, because that wasn't risky at all. Was too badly damaged. Even the turbo bike was barely able to make it. The ride chaser nearly didn't make it across. These death machines. Um, by the way, I'm just gonna go ahead and say this, Kit. There is echoing coming from your side. 
Oh, yeah, there is. Why I'm sorry. Why would you do this to us? How could you? You adjust the gain. I'm sorry. It might have had to reset it. I updated my audio driver. By the way, did you notice that there were several hazards along the way that could have killed you? Also, are energy items along the way? These energy items and the door and the train you see are seem to be corresponding. If you have the items, shoot them at the door. Then the door may be opened. Wait, didn't you already do that? You did it! The door has been broken! I wonder what's inside. Proceed with care. I definitely have an arranged a surprise for you in there that involves a rag that smells suspiciously of chloroform. <laughs> this is the program for the head part of your new arm. Oh, wait, no, it's the Dr. Light. Hey, hey alien, that's, that's my job. Shut up. Shut up, alien. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, this is for X Morty. It's the head part for the Falcon armor. You get to become Falcon Morty. Analyze and upload the data to your dumb lady friends so that she can actually do her job, X Morty. <laughs> Make memory in a secure area. Upload all four of the programs and I can finally get myself some frickin' whiskey. Soon, soon the Falcon Morty will be complete and you will be flying god, X Morty. With, with, with that end part equipped, you can use your special weapons using less energy. Why why didn't you maintain, like, the endless energy for your helmet before? I don't know, X-40. Now take advantage of your enhanced special weapons and drink them. <laughs> oh, I need a drink. Trahum <laughs> Fuku. Yeah, Alia is, like, the worst stereotype of the... Uh, tutorial. Uh, Lab means. scientist is in custody. Oh no, they're checking his hard drive right now. I hope they don't find anything. <laughs> All right, uh, let me know. It did. It did for some stupid reason reset all my audio. So please let me know if there's a problem. The lock system, the shutter, is currently locked and broken. I'm not. I'm just it, gonna stop this. Yeah, I don't blame you. Spare us the way. Although now I'm just picturing drunk drunk Dr. Light and Ailey arguing over the comm lines. <laughs> Shut up, he knows. It's, he played the video games. It's the fifth one, for God's sake. It's fucking obvious. <laughs> Why you know this shit? I didn't, I didn't tell my older son any of this shit. He came out just fine. So, all of that dialogue just to tell you to shoot the glowy bits. Yes. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so, uh, the so color I, so of the lockout system will change how you interact with it. So, uh, Grizz, Grizz was, um, I, I learned, I learned that, like, letting people organically learn, I had a good reminder of that not too long ago when, when I had Grizz try Final Fantasy VII Remake. Um, I was trying to be helpful on that initial reactor run, and it was like, okay, you've got some ATB charges, you can do that now, you can do that, you can pause it, oh, and you can switch parties like this, and, like, I thought I was helping, but, like, I think by the time we got to the guard scorpion, he's just finally like, I don't care! <laughs> I'm more of a hack and slasher. Oh, my God, I'll let you play, I'm sorry. Wesley Bear was just like, could you shut the fuck up, Navi? <laughs> I, hey, yeah, listen! Do stuff! Slash, Push the right? buttons! Do all the things! Yeah, you wanna know what- You wanna know when this is at its absolute worst? Frickin' X6 with the frickin' frickin' nightmare. Oh, very much, yeah. Then it turns the rescue mission into a- Oh, please God, don't make that thing a nightmare mission. Raymond, what are you doing? Put it down, 
Shut her down. I'm with the yeah. science team. You know who ate all the donuts? Thanks. You're having donuts? Why do we have to wear these ridiculous ties? <laughs> I want a donut. Dang it. I had the opportunity to get some zebra donuts for 99 cents at the liquidation store. Oh, man. What's Ooh. even... What's, what's the zebra donut? <laughs> um, basically, okay. basically a donut with, um, basically a, um, white... Basically a white... Basically, like, a vanilla donut with, um, chalk... With chocolate um, swirl on it. At the liquidation store? Yeah, that's a yeah. valley. It's a place called. It's a bit. It's a liquidation grocery store. Oh, or like they sell stuff that's about to go bad and stuff like that. Pretty much, yeah. Oh yeah, I went to one of those at an Amish place. It was kind of neat. Yeah, but they also have um, toys and stuff there that um, weren't sold. Hmm. Like, I'm trying to remember what they called it. It was like a, a, like a recovery store or something like that. Basically, they were selling all expired food. It was pretty nice. Nothing quite like buying expired food from religious extremists. Let's see here. <laughs> here we are. I'm happy I got the... Huh. I'm happy I got the armor piece that's here already. Because if the armor piece was up there and I required the Gaia armor in order to get that, that would be ridiculous. The Gaia armor enables you to break black blo break black blocks and bypass and uh, survive spikes. Voltkraken, will you do me a favor? Who wants to play Voltkraken? Kraken? This is how you greet me after so long? No. Nice to meet you again, or... I'm sorry. Not even a hello. How rude. You have not changed at all. I'm sorry about Launch Octopus. I wasn't referring to such an old story. You destroyed him because you are a Maverick Hunter. It's your duty, your mission. Well, I got fed up with the hunter jobs. That's why I quit, not because of Octopus. Please, we have little time left. Give me the energy cartridge. You are free to take such a worthless thing, but what a simpleton you are. Even if you get it, you can't change the fate of the Earth. Every Reptile has been infected by the virus and become... ma 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 No, he's been infected too. Oh, Maverick Hunter? You will be terminated, just like you did. To octopus. That was really good. Although he's talking like that, has anybody seen what EO is up to? Mm. Nope. Just, just, just wondering. No. Sorry, that was more of a joke for CC. Just sort of happened. Don't do it over my head. Damn. Okay, so this fight itself isn't so bad, but they're in the mode where you're fighting two bosses at once, they pair him with um, that the clam dude, and that one was really hard. Yeah, because they both have the desire just to charge at you. Oh damn, that was quick. X, try to remember the basics of CQC. <laughs> of close quarters combat. My internet was giving out a little bit by the time I got back. Volkraken was dead. Oh wow. Almost <laughs> on the 8-minute mark. This Volkraken is sleeping. Volkraken is dead!
Man, I still question to this day, what gave them the idea that we needed all of this, uh, tutorial dialogue? I think it's just they assumed that, like, like, when games got more mainstream, you know, you had younger kids playing, and they just assumed that babies are stupid and need the, everything done for them. To be fair, yes, you're right about that. Like, back at this time when it was coming out, a lot of games had been doing that, basically put tutorials and everything. Yep. But... When you have a series like Mega Man, though, like where everybody pretty much knows the basis of at that point, did we? I'm saying, did we really need a tutorial? It's yeah, there it's it's excessive, and I I get like wanting to make your game accessible for multiple ages, but like you can still put like in some kind of like rookie mode, or like where where you, you can just do difficulty toggles. Uh, that's that's basically what they did. Uh, I think it was Mega Man 10 or 11. Yeah, 11. Yeah. Uh, Meg and Mega Man nine and ten. And both. Mega Man nine and ten both have um, both have difficulty modes, mm -hmm. and then that, that no, would adjust that it. And then Mega Man, and then there's Mega Man eleven that had it natively. I think what bothers me the most is that video games are possibly the best medium to organically learn something, yeah. and they just like ruin it by beating you over the head with it. Exactly. I feel like Rookie Hunter mode is smart. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not sure, when when you were little, I'm not sure you would have been having as much fun with Mega Man 10 if they, if they hadn't had an easy mode, you know? Yeah. Especially if you want to get into it and... <laughs> and, well, compared to the old days, like, uh, there's a lot more mechanics of Mega Man games now. And, yeah, yeah. no, no oh, point go for a whole giant tutorial. Sorry. I have to have the fire weapon in order to break that. Yeah. This level's on fire. So we're just gonna leave that man to die. He's safe oh. inside that room until I get him again. And then something. <laughs> it. Wow. There's the Sigma virus. Let me through, please. Thank you. Is that just a Medusa head? No, Medusa. It's a, it's, it's a Medusa head uh, that hooked up with Mr. Clean. <laughs> I always use the, please. uh, please. the wave beam pattern. Prepare to become possessed! Yeah, it's up to three times. Normal. Ah. X. X, your firewall is being damaged! You only have two more instances before the Sigma virus will take you over and turn that mindset into a grind set, baby! No! <laughs> it's, 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 what I, it's what X gets for trying to access peer-to-peer -peer wirelessly. <laughs> oh, this is ambitious. Yeah, weird little 3D segment. Yeah, it's similar to... Oh, and then you get a... And then you get a it's, uh, it's basically the same thing that they did for um, X4. Yeah, but X4 did it better. This this fight reminds me of the uh, spider from the first X game, except it's a little less, except it's more predictable, you know. Yeah, the pre-rendered effects were cool. I, I actually don't mind that aesthetic if it's done right. Yeah, but that's Donkey Kong Country. Right. Yeah, it's a weird angle. Yeah, it, they did a better job with X four. For sure. It, mm, it ends up looking very off. That's actually a statement you could make about anything about this game. X4 did it better, but uh, still. Yeah, it just kind of looks like you're standing on a blue screen. Yeah. Yeah, there's, it's not... The, the depth is not quite right. Just looks like he's running yeah. in place. Yeah. Which, to be fair, that's exactly what he looks like he's doing in... But to be fair, that's exactly what he looks like he's doing in... He'll get it eventually. Destroy the beach balls of doom. So I know they said uh, I know they said that this guy is like a like a laser physicist, 
but like judging by his level you can't tell me this guy is like hitting up clubs in the grave scene at night <laughs> that's fair that's how he got the laser he's a dj <laughs> <laughs> There it is. He made DJ Maverick into house. This is the basic program for the arm part of the Falcon Morty super armor. It's yeah, delicious. Analyze and upload <laughs> the data to the main memory alia lady lady. Give her the ace data. Once you upload all four of the programs, Falcon Armor will Falcon Morty will be complete. With the arm part you can maximize an attack with your original shot, but you can't charge the special weapons. As this armor specializes in mobility, if you want to enhance your attack power, use that other armor that I have. Wait, what other armor? What? Suck it, Morty. <laughs> Suck it, X Morty. So that's how we got Cyber Bird Person. But yep, I now have the Falcon armor. The Falcon armor is ridiculous, but it's kind of fun. Oh, there's freaking Sigma again. Careful, X. Your fire walk can only take so much. Sigma's lead hacking skills. You gotta watch for it. I love that because one of the things I get a lot is because I work in software, like everyone assumes that like I can hack stuff or like fix hardware. And you're just like, like no, that's the opposite of my job. I was like, yeah, no, no, I, <laughs> no, I can't do that at all. Uh, it's such a broad field, like, just... Dr. Firefly's yeah. room is above you, etc, etc. Dr. Firefly's room is above you! I just felt that you should know that! You know, the one place you can go in this stage? You know, if if it were even done like the Anniversary Collection, where it were an optional little thing in the corner where you could make the dialogue pop up if you needed help, that would even be one thing. It's the fact that they force you to stop. Yeah, yeah. they fix that in X6. It's kind of weird because Navi is the one that's known for it, and yet she's probably the least annoying companion character because her dialogue's always optional. Yeah, it's pretty unintrusive, really. It's yeah. the sound effects that people remember more than anything. Hey, listen! I'll get Firefly a shot. How dare you bust up my lab! This laboratory is so badly infected by the virus. There's no other way for me to no other way for me to enter. Mm. You hunters always do that. My work is not for Maverick hunters. I've never trusted your approach. Therefore, I won't cooperate with you. Doctor, I don't have time to argue with you. Please understand. My body has already been infected, too. I realize I may have been wrong, but it's much too late to change now. Fate and all that. I've made up my mind. Ow. Let me rest in peace. Mm, grumpy old man energy on this one. How do they even yeah, they, they really... Robot? But they really are just fatalistic as hell, aren't they? Mm -hmm. All of them are just like, yeah, this is gonna happen, there's nothing we can do about it. Sigma's already won. Like, even though, like, the whole thing about X and Reploids, they're supposed to have free will. <laughs> and that's, like, a big thing. Maybe I'm... that's the irony. Irony in my Mega Man game? Makes me think of that line from uh, the Yoda song by Weird Al. <laughs> The long-term contracts I had to sign. Now I'll be making these movies till the end of time. And like, your fatalism is tiresome. Your fatalism is tiresome, Kane. Yet thoroughly ingrained, Raziel. You must understand that our presence here doesn't alter history. We are here because we are compelled to. History is irredeemable. Yes. Yeah, anybody here played Legacy of Cain? Uh, oh, yeah, I, I was with I was with a I was with a friend during his playthrough, but I haven't actually played it myself. 
So you know about so you know all about the storyline and stuff for Legacy of Kane? Yep. Yep. I love Legacy of Kane. In my opinion, it's the best video game story. It's yeah, very it was much pretty amazing. A lot of death. Yeah, yeah. Just a bit. This is Douglas. Douglas. Well, at last, the uh, the enigma has been completed. It's uh, it's old. Don't want to hear it fully, but we reinforced it with some devices. It should work. Fine. Maybe. Possibly. Well, we're ready anyway. Let's go. <laughs> so that's what Kane is. Uh, <laughs> I like the how time has so. come at last. Yeah. We are going to launch the Enigma. The fate of the Earth depends on it. Not the geez. energy, the power, and we know the Zalia. Lily. The energy, the power, the angle. Everything is clear. All right. Blast off. Blast off! Blast off. Uh, Say this one of made it You gotta keep doing it. it. Say doesn't, mine. doesn't count unless you say it five times. Nope. True. Oh. Did we make it? Did it crash? So bad it killed you. Alia, give us the report. Oh yeah. Fail. Negative. We only destroyed 62% and Game Cobra. <laughs> we have merely made it change orbit. And delayed the time of impact. Who knew that he was streaming from inside of the colony? Crazy. It says. Digma. Yeah, just take a look at Douglas's face. He looks like... Uh, the Enigma. Douglas the Enigma was not successful. What? Yeah. D now, yeah. Looking at Douglas's face, it looks like. Did I leave the oven on? Oh God, I left the oven on, didn't I? <laughs> no, oh boy, I think I uh, left the screwdriver in the laser. Plan. Let's concentrate on our next move. Okay. All right, we'll execute the shuttle operation. Don't give up hope. The future of the Earth depends on us. This is our last hope. The shuttle, the space shuttle operation. Leah. Lily. The shuttle will approach and fly into the colony. The pilots will eject at the last minute. It's very dangerous because we could end up impacting with the surface or get sucked into the blast. In the end, I fear that this will fail, just like the Enigma. We need to gather as many devices as we can to strengthen the shuttle's power, but the autopilot function doesn't work. Okay, gather as many devices as you can. Uh, we'll we'll try to upgrade it from here. Uh, this is the last chance for us. I know this mission is hard for you all, but the important thing is for us to stay optimistic. Now let's get to work. Our only hope is the space shuttle. We can't waste any time. Let me describe the four mavericks that have the devices to upgrade the shuttle. There's Inky, there's Blinky, there's Pinky, and worst of all, Clyde. And, <laughs> and now we have Axel the Red. He carries the concealed orbiter engine.
I don't know why, but I'm now forgetting his English name. Uh, yeah, what was his English? <laughs> Shoot, I don't know either. Uh, it was John. That's, that's gonna bother me. Let me look that up. That's gonna really bother me. John, a weapon storage specialist. Oh, Matrix. 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 Uh... Matrix. Mattress. A weapon storage guard. He owns a booster for rockets. The Skyver. <laughs> or Spiral Peg. <laughs> the, the Skyver. Spiral Pegasus of the Repla Force's air wing. Wow, there's still members of the Repla Force around? An orbiter wing is at his base. And Dark Dizzy. Oh. Now part of me is wishing. Now I'm kind of wishing, kind of wishing that um, I took the opportunity to ask freaking Stoker if he could join us for this. But I think I need to give more. Oh, yeah. I think I need to give more of an incentive than just, hey, there's a vampire bat in this game. You need to tell him it's a hot vampire bat. Yeah, Dark Necro Bat's really cool. Gotta spin it. Gotta spin. Yeah. Well, well you could guys. offer him your armor. I think for a nice meal, he'll be able to do a fair bit. I think I really should. I think I really should just um, invite him if I ever start doing the Legacy of Kane games. But I'm gonna have to do a lot of setup to pull that off. He has the fuel tank. We have little time, but we have to gather as many devices as possible. I'd love to do Jackbox here. I think that'd be funny. Hee hee ha ha. Um, I'm gonna have a lot of trouble setting that up, at least from my end, because the I'm gonna have a lot of trouble setting that up on my end because that is a lot because my computer does not like to stream and play at the same time. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. We've ran. Have... We, yeah, we tried yeah. doing. We tried doing worms, and it did not work out. That was a bit rough. Out. Okay, so now I'm trying to remember which one it was, because it's... Hey, brother, how are you? What's that, then? Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, it is um, Dark Knickerbad is next. Oh, uh, Sarah245, hello. Dark Necrobat or Dark Dizzy. It's Dark Necrobat is his professional name. Dark Dizzy is the the one he he's the title he used as a as when he dances. Mm -hmm. Dark Necrobat is a LinkedIn profile. Dark, Dark Dizzy is his Tumblr. <laughs> Dude, I love I love how angular and pointy and sleek the Falcon armor is. Is that a dog in the background? What's the dog doing? That echo hasn't been a problem for a while, right? No, we're oh, it comes back every now and then. Okay. Um, it's like I said, I unfortunately I, I updated my audio drivers and it reset all of my previous configs. I guess you need to get on the lift, the only thing you interact with in this whole part of the environment. Gosh, it's so hard. I I can't even imagine like trying to get through that. You can only fly almost unlimited uh, with almost unlimited invulnerability and stuff. You know, it's tricky stuff. Ah, uh, freaking really? Oh, Grizz just died too. It looks like the Rizzly Bear's dead. I'm back. Sigma virus is everywhere. It is. Came for Salad Cat and you. Oh, uh, I think we accidentally shot Salad Cat with a laser. Like I hate when that happens. It's been on mist. That's a risk with the bad kitty rays. Okay, so the most annoying thing about this level, if I recall correctly, is that finding the correct thing actually takes 
like there's actually like a random element to that, if I recall. No, 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 wait a minute. Maybe I'm thinking of the one with the totem poles in X6. The, the X6 one is the one, yeah. You're probably thinking. Yeah, of, okay. Yeah. yeah, never mind. Ignore me, Kit lies. He's a fox. We've established this. We have established Kit's many, many issues. Many, many times. It's it's not my fault that I was made so completely perfect that I had to dial it back to, to make the rest of you not be insecure. So sorry, uh, oh I went to Axel Red first in X5 when doing the space shuttle when Enigma failed. Should have recorded it, yeah. The problem is this game can go like a million different ways. There's very little control you actually have over it. I was perfect until God nerfed me and gave me anxiety. He had to. He had to patch out. He had to patch it out. Yeah. It too <laughs> we were. We were too OP. This just seems annoying. It's incredibly annoying. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Kind of At least they give you a way to kill yourself. Uh, with, uh, like, nope. The game really looked at you what? and said, "Kill yourself." You no, seriously. The, like, they're like, they're like, no, we know, we know that we're like, we're teasing these people with a capsule. Like, we need to give them a way to just be like, nah. Exactly. That's why you should be able to go back up. I'm out. Oh, fuck. This is like one of those things where, like, you only do it on your first try when no one's watching. It's like Grizz was playing Final Fantasy VII, the original, and trying to find Yuffie, and was at it for, like... Ooh, ooh, ooh. So, Gosh, like, so, so like, close! Oh. <laughs> and then, like, the second he went home, I'm like, do you want me to try and find Yuffie for it? And he's like, yeah, sure. The second he went home, like, the very next encounter, I bumped into Yuffie. <laughs> You're almost You're there, right. Zero. I'm oh, so close! Uh, don't. <laughs> Stay on target. Stay on target. <laughs> Zero, is that a reason why you've disabled your targeting computer? <laughs> Use the plot armor, Luke. Use the plot armor. It's too bad the phrase, the force will be with you always, ended up becoming kind of trite. Because yeah. uh, it was something my brother wrote in the book they got me for um, when I graduated high school. And coming wow. from him, that was really quite, that was quite nice. That was sweet. Your last one? Oh my ah, god! there it is! It. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Done. Uh, there we go. Relax, Morty. Oh wait, you're Falcon Morty you. now. Yeah, you're Falcon Morty. I can't believe you fucking did it. It's Falcon Morty. This is the program for the head part of Gaia Morty. Analyze and upload the data to your lady friend. Forget her name. Uh, main memory secure area. Once you upload all the programs, Gaia Gaia Morty will be complete. What does the Gaia armor do? Um, it's really slow, it does a lot of damage, and it's invulnerable to spikes. Yes, and it's the only way to survive. To only, way to, only way to survive the pointy stuff. You can just walk right on him. Oh my god. It kind of sucks, though, in some respects, the guy armor. Like, no special weapons, really limited shot distance. has its uses though, especially in like the Ranga Banga stage. Ranga Banga. I can do this one if you like. Go ahead. Okay. 
Squeak! I've been waiting for you. God damn it, now I really wish Stoker was here. Yeah, you know Stoker- I can't do it justice. <laughs> I can't do it him Stoker justice, but I'll try. I've been waiting. Hey, can't you understand the urgency of our present situation? There's no time to fight. Squeak! Who cares? I don't take orders from anyone. The world Sigma, the word Sigma means nothing to me. I'll destroy all mavericks like you. Squeak! I'm always ready. Fun! One angsty gunman. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> two, two mentions of fate. Ah, ah, ah. Yes. Ah, uh, the poor guy doesn't like bright lights. I mean, would you? I work in computers, so the answer is no. <laughs> he works in computers, so he is literally a vampire. <laughs> Yeah, except the stake, the stake, when you work in computers, the stake to your heart is a T-bone. Uh, the indigestion! Uh. Yeah, I wasn't sure whether to actually squeak or just say squeak, because it was funnier that he just, just just say squeak, rather than imagine him actually squeaking, but just imagine him actually saying the word squeak. Also, I think Discord automatically mutes Autumn on the PS, so... Oh, yeah. They do, yeah. It does. It does tend to filter out anything it thinks is like white noise, or anything it thinks is not like noise. Yeah, let me just squeak for you. I have kind of a boisterous laugh, and I've noticed that when I laugh really hard, it tends to cut me off part way. Yeah, like how much of the squeaking came through? None, None of it. Yep. Now let me to give you my best kettle gobble impression. I show you the bird's mouth moving, but ain't nothing happening. By the way, um, when I tried squeaking, did you all hear me? Nope. Nope. That one came through. I heard something, yeah. <laughs> heard something that time. Yeah, that's because I'm far enough away from the mic. Uh. I'm not even squeaking now. I, don't know what I have I'm a hard time taking the more bat like vampires seriously because I've actually held uh, a vampire bat. At a zoo. And they're, and they're very just, silly. They're, they're very silly and cute. Dark hole. If they're little guys, even. Bats in general are just are just good little beans. Dark neck red and mean vent. He was a maverick created three years ago by Sigma. But you have destroyed him since Sigma has created a large amount of the virus. <laughs> he doesn't have energy yet to re reproduce himself. By the way, we've got the fuel tank. Blah, 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 blah. Let's move on. I've been fighting the Sigma virus for... for a long time. It is the virus that causes all Reploids to transform into Mavericks. No shit. You don't download that TF6. virus to ever exist. Why? What am I fighting for? I wonder why I'm not learned or harmed. Instead, I feel energy growing within my body. What on earth is happening to me? I I have a bad feeling about this. It really is Star War. Um, who wants to voice lifesaver? I can do that. That's all of the report on Zero. Zero has fought Sigma several times. I believe he has the virus antibodies. It's possible. He doesn't react negatively to the virus. His power output is actually growing. For the most part, the body systems of X and Zero remain mysteries. I can't predict what will happen. I suggest you take measures. Keep this secret. I'll think it over. His power's growing with the virus. 
it's too dangerous to keep them loose. Please, at least do something about Zero before it's too late. Man, even he doesn't like the streams. <laughs> hey, lifesaver, could I get a lightsaber? Bad bit. Sorry. But lifesavers. Favorite candy. Spiral Pegasus. Also known as freaking the Skyver. <laughs> what the heck were they talking about with the Skyver, anyway? I mean, I assume it's some guns in Rose's reference, but I don't know that specific one. The Skyver, I think, is who it is. Oh. Duh. Yeah, I like, I like him being Pegasus better, instead of him just skiving it up all over the place. Of course, I do think the best part of X5 is when Miskyver said, I'm going to misguive you, and misguived all over the place. Oh yeah, that part was great. Classic. <laughs> oh yeah, his fighting pattern is really annoying, especially if you don't have Dark Hole. It's even worse in the uh, challenge mode when they have you fight two of them at once. I can't remember who they pair him with, but it's really... That's a challenging one, too. Oh, that's wholesome. Aha, no one set up us the bomb this time. Some of the developers were like, hey, you know, we have all these uh, these assets for Repliforce. Maybe we could use those. Isn't Repliforce gone? Eh, details. Well, to be fair, the Skyver is supposed to freaking Spiral Pegasus is supposed to be from a remnant of Repliforce. They actually make mention of that. I just think it's interesting that, like... Um, if you actually look for it, X6 and X, X5 and X6 use a lot of uh, assets from each uh, reused assets, and just sometimes we'll just do like little recolors and stuff. Um, X6 is more guilty of it. Uh, X Morty, X Morty, this is the body program for Gaia Morty. Oh sweet, you two got the freaking Falcon Morty. I just realized I'm actually an AI and not actually... I don't have to repeat everything I say because I already know everything everyone else does because X40! <laughs> Analyze and upload the data yeah, to your AI. main memory thing for freaking what's-her-face alien face-face. Um, Gaia armor will be complete soon. With the body equipped, the damage you receive will become less. It's like... Man in chat. Wait... Let me know when ChatGPT turns into a drunk old man. Why not now? You know what? That's a good point. Be the change you want in the world. <laughs> Alright, I want to do some lore building. What's uh, Rick Light's um, drink of choice? <laughs> Uh, definitely seems like a bourbon guy. Alright. Expensive. Alright, alright. Got all that Light Labs money from making Sniper Joes. True, yeah. <laughs> wonder how both Light and Wily have so much money that it'd be like 11 games. They're very successful industrialists. Evidently. Wily just, Wily just, uh, engages in rampant uh, intellectual property violations. I don't know, you just can't help but think about like how many castles he can have. He must, uh, must have uh, decent real estate connections. Uh, that makes sense. Be, uh, there's, probably a lot of, 
I mean, it makes sense. There's probably a lot of evil geniuses uh, and madmen in real estate. Probably a lot of kindred spirits to hook them up. <laughs> yeah. Also, to be fair, in the world of Mega Man, uh, castles are a lot cheaper. I hear Elon Musk has three of them. I don't know. Yeah. They're not they really were... good levels, though. He, he went way too much into the aesthetics and all just kind of ended up looking a little bit weird, but there's no real challenge to it. <laughs> Who wants to voice Spiral Pegasus? Bix! I've wanted to meet you! That's pretty cool. But considering the situation, we don't have time for small talk. Soon the replica, the replica force's air wing will fall. You may be our only hope, but you'll have to convince me first. Through battle. Engage Klingon protocols. Fine. That was really good voice, actually. Yeah, I enjoyed it. <laughs> oh, this is one of those moments where we remember. Volley can actually voice that. He's not always just an idiot. Oh, I'm back. Oh, hey! Had his back. I was a, I was afraid that... Uh, I looked... I was afraid that Salad Cat succumbed to the virus or got lasered to death. I looked to the left for like a second, and then suddenly I got knocked off the stage. Mm. I looked to the got right skived. for a second. Got skived, fool. Do a barrel. <laughs> I do actually like this guy's design too, though. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh my and gosh, I like he's that he's, and I like that his place. chest armor has like. Kind of like a, almost like an admiralty or a. It's a media as a commanding officer, so it tracks. So I know Zero does, but I don't know if any of you follow. Um, I don't know if any of you follow Rick Griffin's stuff all that much. So I know Zero and GC do. No. But uh, he's got a setting haven Celestia that I really like. And in one of them, he's got a species called the Ringle who don't really wear much in the way of clothing. But they showed a scene where they have like a bunch of their high command. And like they're still not wearing anything except for like these big open admiralty jackets. And it's kind of a funny juxtaposition. <laughs> uh. Oh, Rick, you and your costume choices. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty odd whenever you actually see a Ringle wearing clothing. Yeah. I think he's on. I think he's on a mission to, to oh, get the masses to, to rebel. And uh, I must say, uh, I'm really disappointed in you falling off the stage. How are you supposed to defeat Doctor Wily when you are this incompetent? Uh, where's Doctor Wily? Uh, you know, around. Yeah, flights around. Why not Wily? I there mean, were, Surges. There were a Surges was a thing. He's in Dr. the Bahamas Wiley. right now. The Bahamas. Yeah, real. He's just, he's just, he's in his skull shaped vacation house. <laughs> <laughs> he's got like a fucking cabana. He's got the little palm trees out front. It, nice, lovely little porch and all that. But it just so happens to also be shaped like a skull. It's made out of wicker. It lets in a nice breeze, but still skull shaped. Still. He's got I like, like a walkway. He's got like a walkway <laughs> heading up to the beach that's made of the appear disappearing and reappearing blocks. <laughs> I like the joke that he's somewhere like inside Zero's head like uh like like one of his machines that he rides like final boss of Mega Man. He's like, what where this thing starts? I wanna ride Zero's helmet. Yeah. Wiley's uh cabana house has like the castle intro, right? But it's played with steel drums. <laughs> <laughs> Right now, I've just got the image of him head, an uh, image in my head of him like working on Zero's design, tinkering with his helmet while humming, wasting away in Margaritaville. <laughs> I remember when I was growing up, how everybody made oh, fun of how that. What was the point of Zero's hair? What What was he trying to do? He's trying to make evil as cool. Fabulous. I think he was trying to make sure that, like, he, you know, he built the Buster Gun for ranged combat, the sword for close ranged combat, and the hair so he could bamboozle people who are weak to. Oh no, he's hot. And let's not no, forget no, the... It's, uh, it's an entanglement device. 
And let's not forget the chest plate. Ah. Green chest plate. I didn't see it. You put up any sub tanks? Yeah, he did. He's got both of. He's actually got the weapon tank too. Oh, nice. Which, of course, with the Falcon armor is a little less important. Can't charge the specials and all. Oh man. What drives me nuts is, like, you can see it coming, like, you know his pattern. It's just really hard to react in time. Yeah, it's a lot easier to react against um, Storm Eagle. Which, I think this actually also lends credence to, um, like, Storm Eagle's connection to the Repla Force, because he fights like Storm Eagle. Yes, yes. it makes sense. Especially, like I said, there's a comic page of uh, Storm Owl and Storm Eagle uh, fighting together in the Archie series. Yeah, yeah. let's see how that all plays out. Oh, that was a tragedy to lose that one. That was a good comic series. I kept living in hope that IDW would pick that one up too, along with Sonic. Uh-oh. Emergency! Dynamo has come back here to attack. What on earth does he want? Well, it doesn't matter. We have to fight him. Check something real quick. And you show him on the big screen, and he's like, leans up into the lens so you can see nothing else. He says, I know what you are. I haven't given Zero as much to do. Yeah. Yeah. He'll be able to help. I'll go ahead and this will likely be the oh, only good. time I'm gonna use Zero because worst case scenario, I need to make sure X is powered up. Makes sense. Yeah, because that could you may not have a choice that may Which is too bad because the game giving you a choice of characters is great, but then they kinda I limit it by you doing that. Did you? Well, did you not miss me? Stop pestering me, Dynamo. I won't... You know, I won't allow you to escape this time. <laughs> On the contrary, Zero. I know what you are. You can't retire me no matter how hard you may try. I'll give you a little advice. You, Sigma. Everybody is always too hot when they fight, but not me. I am the coolest and wisest of all, so much so that I gloat it. And most humble, clearly. Then, well, I'll just have to show you. Come on and fight me. My body is ready. Yeah, it didn't even barely even had a chance to break out the Darth Maul Jr. <laughs> okay, that sucked. So you are strong. I fall seriously this time. Could have fooled me. Anyway, I need nine lives if I stuck with you. So I'll leave. No more games. You should think about your future, Zero. 
or you will die someday. I'm getting out of here because I, well, I am sensible and I don't want to die right now. Adios. I mentioned nine lives. That means his online avatar is a cat boy. I knew it. <laughs> And spot him a mile away. Total rank GA. Well, that's rude. They're just ranking you up there with Georgia. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Burn Dynarex. By the way, Burn Dynarex has the best derp face. Have to see it. The less cool Magma Dragoon. Uh, yeah. The designers just looked at Magma Dragoon and said, Eager! <laughs> Less karate. More dirt. <laughs> oh, this level, I forgot about the, uh, the lava mechanic. I don't know how I feel about uh, about those dragonflies. There's something about them design that weirds me out. I know how I feel about that. Uh, easy now. This is a this is a this is a pure Christian stream. I was gonna say they suck. <laughs> oh well, okay. Huh. They suck in me. Shut up, Alia! <laughs> <laughs> I walked into that one. See what I mean? <laughs> Shut up, Alia! <laughs> Fire Fire I just you know what I in to see Zero <laughs> getting absolutely terminated. <laughs> this is why on my soundboard, one of the things I would love to have one of these days is an audio clip from the Sonic OVA of Sonic yelling, Shut up, Tails! Yeah, I saw the Sonic <laughs> OVA, that was hilarious. Nah, the grasshoppers are kind of lame though. Dragonfly cricket things. Oh, so I do not even remember what started this. Someone was mentioning in a Discord server, maybe it was something about like how like they've developed some kind of like malaria uh anti malaria thing for the mosquito population. And okay. everyone on the server was like, you know what? This is like one case where I'd be like, no, you know what, you can just kill them all. Like, the world doesn't need mosquitoes. And, uh, and I commented, I'm like, now there's just some very odd person, like at least one in the world, who's like sitting in his room sweating reading this, uh, thinking about his bizarre mosquito zona. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've actually thought about this before. A solution to the, to the malaria problem is to go full supervillain on this one. Yeah. So the plan is to genetically engineer a species of mosquito that's highly resistant to pesticides and then release it into the areas that have a malaria problem and then spray it with pesticides. So this sounds incredibly stupid, right? I but what I'm you got to remember is that malaria can only infect the species Anisopheles, which means that if you release a different mosquito... That one will compete with the other mosquitoes and begin to drive them to extinction. No, actually, that makes sense. the exact same niche. No, that makes sense. It's just they wouldn't be able to adapt and compete. I'm trying to remember which direction I need to go to in order to get the Gaia armor. 
I think it's under the lava, but I might be wrong, as I have established many times on our Mega Man X streams. I just say people I that are like, um, but, but mosquitoes, they're important to the, to the environment. Bats can eat them. Bats can eat a whole bunch of, like, other things. Although, I do have O mosquitoes for one cool thing. I didn't, I didn't know that, um, I didn't know that, uh, Utah had much in the way of bats. But a few years ago, um, it was the summertime, and I was out back using my parents' pool, and, um, uh, there were a fair few mosquitoes, because, you know, middle of the summer. Um, but I remember at one point I was floating on my back because I thought I heard something weird. And I look up and all the mosquitoes had attracted bats. And so just all these little bats would just zip by and grab mosquitoes and occasionally dip in the water for a tiny drink. It was really cool. Oh, that's kind of neat. Yeah. Hmm. And you can hear them chittering, kind of. Like, a lot of it is above, like, our audible range. But you can kind of hear it a little bit. Trying to remember if this is the way to go or not. But do you think if someone has a bat sona, the majority of what they say is above the human auditory range? Oh god, that means Stoker talks even more. Bring it. Bring it. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Only half of what he says is audible. <laughs> It would be yeah. useful though. You could, you could like work in customer service and like cuss out awful customers without them figuring it out. That's true. The other half is curse out Ken Benders. <laughs> yeah, that would do it. <laughs> and I I didn't know what he was talking about at first about Ken Benders, but I, then I found out when I was reading the uh, Turtle ID Gilbert comics about Ken uh, Benders. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's a whole saga. It's a there's, actually, yes. there's actually a, a Tumblr I love documenting the entire history of it, literally called Fuck You Ken Penders, the blog. Yes, I heard about that. <laughs> it's so weird because they just like gave the job to this random weirdo with no qualifications. And that became like their Sonic guy for a long time. Hey, that I don't know. I'm pretty sure he had some qualifications. I have to double check that. Not many. No, like, he was, he, he wasn't really much of a writer, wasn't really much of an artist. Um, like, well, I, a lot of I the, li he... a lot of the lines, line work he did with Spaz's stuff looked okay, but the stuff he drew himself was horrid. Hmm. If I remember correctly, uh, back when, uh, back when I was reading up about this, uh, back, that was like, like, last year, they mentioned that he, it, so, Sega and uh, US and Japan were basically handing rights left and right around what to do with the comics as far as I understand. Ken Ben just got a hold of it. Uh, mm -hmm. I wanted to I wanted to give you all a chance to talk real quick before I go. Oh Falcon Morty! Falcon Morty! <laughs> we needed to talk about it. We got the arm parts <laughs> for the Gaia Ar Gaia Morty. Analyze and upload the data. Blah, blah, blah. You already get the idea. We, I have to say this multiple times. But you got the you with the arm part. You'll be equipped with the Gaia shot. While the range of your shot is super, super short, it's a super powerful and neutralizes enemy attacks. <laughs> you can also break those black, black bricks, Morty. X Morty. There we go. Well, I just realized that I actually you actually didn't have to. Since I had the Falcon armor, I could just fly across to the edge of the area, so I could have gone either direction. Mm. Who wants to be burned Dino Rex? Alright. You're so silly. Well, I can do this one. Boo, why'd you come this far? Oh no. <laughs> I want your Sorry, booster engine. <laughs> I have Dino evidence Red. that this is a secret warehouse for weapons. You know what's happening to the Earth. Now give it to me. 
Yes, whatever you say. That's what you expected to hear from me, right? You know, nobody will obey like that. Don't you? So why don't you fight as... as always and force me to give it to you? That's if you have the guts to. <laughs> why do reploids always have to fight each other? Darn, do I have to fight again? Um, it's time to do what we do best. Let's fight and enjoy ourselves. Just like always. Dinobot vibes. I can see it. That face, though, when he uses weakness. That's why I let oh, you... Oh, no! That's why I let you oh. choose to have that voice. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was kind of going with the derp. What? I don't believe this! Dude. Have you ever played Sonic Adventure on the original Dreamcast? I, I, have I have not, not but I'm aware that it's an experience. I played uh, um, the one. With, I played DX. Okay, because it's you know the one with with Eggman. The no way, I can't believe this, and get a load of this. No use, give up. There's actually a hilarious glitch on the original hardware, where occasionally when you're fighting the um, the Egg Viper or the uh, Egg Walker, where like the audio like overlays itself, so you get Eggman just going. Get a load of, get a load of, get a load of, get a load of, get a load of this. <laughs> I'm like, kind of countering the dramatic music and everything. A little hard to take Man seriously. really wants you to get a load. No way. I still like Dr. Robotnik better. I mean, Eggman's okay, but I still like the name Dr. Robotnik. Yeah, I'm glad they actually went with the middle man. Went, went in, like, a middle direction with it, where they decided, yeah, his name is Dr. Robotnik, but they call him Eggman as, like, a way to insult him. Kind of his fault for making egg robots, though. I was really concerned about... Like, I, I did not know how Jim Carrey was going to work out, and I was incredibly relieved how well it, it, it worked. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's a lot of parts. You got the booster engine. Got the booster engine. Nice. Barney bit the dust. I'm coming back to HQ. <laughs> so now we have... Spike Rose Red, or Axel the Red. Secret Room for his bait. Yeah, see, this stage yeah. has literally There's guns and roses. Referring. Yeah, I have to have the guy armor here. You may notice that this level shamelessly rips a lot of split mushroom assets and uh, some of web spiders. I really do think something must have happened between the but the X four and five regarding their budget. It's the only thing that makes sense. Oh, yeah. This music kind of reminds me a little bit of Plant Man's. Not quite as catchy, though. 
I'll give you another program for your armor. This is an armor prototype I created a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, Morty. X Morty, it's called the Gaia Armor. The Gaia Armor specializes in defensive ability. It is very heavy and lacks mobility. Kind of, if only you were as cool as um, Liger Zero Panzer. He was also heavy, but also had a ton of guns. Anyone remember Zoids? Zoids is awesome, Morty. X Morty. You won't be able to use weapons, but it's still useful because you're able to walk on spikes. You know, that thing that would always kill you that I probably should give you a defense for? Now you actually have defenses, except that those defenses kind of suck, X Morty. Use your armor wisely, X Morty. Doctor, Doctor Light. Now you're now you're reminding me of the secret show. Anyone no. ever watch the secret show? The secret no. show? No. I don't think so. Uh, I was gonna say I saw, was you saw. I was kind of thinking that see, at least um, GC might have seen it because it's a Canadian production. What was it called again? The secret show. Uh. Can't say I have. Well, let me check it real quick, though. Because oh, you say the secret show featuring name changed daily. Yes. 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 Now, if you excuse, I'm afraid you. Now, for the sake of security, my name is changed daily. Today, you may call me S <sighs> Snuffle Wumpkins. <laughs> Herbs. Yes, sir, Snuffle Wumpkins. And then, and then there was an episode where um, everyone was um, being messed with. Everyone was being messed with in a dream world, and said, and his, and his dream is that he wanted to be, he wanted his random name to be Rock Justice. <laughs> That's an awesome name. That's, That's good why name. it's a dream, <laughs> and never gonna happen in reality because all of it. Uh, this is like, uh, my name is Fuzzy Bunny Bum. <laughs> hey, Fuzzy Bunny Bum, there's a killer name for you. I would go by Fuzzy Bunny Bum. Yes, Doss Rabbit. I, I would care. accept that as my code name. Since, hey, Dan, since you got here, would you like to be um, Spike Rose Red? Sure. What do you want with me? Nothing. I just want the orbiter engine. Are you a thief or something? You can't just take what you want that easily. <laughs> Go home, kid. Otherwise, I'll call the Maverick Hunters. Do as you wish. What? Now tell me where the engine is. Should I at least tell... AX, shouldn't you uh, tell him that you're the Maverick Hunter? I was gonna say, what do you mean he's gonna call the Maverick Hunter? I told you! <laughs> you can't get hit so easily. You have to fight me for it. If that's the easiest way to persuade you, so be it. Hey! Hey! You'd better watch your mouth! I'll do whatever it takes to win! You're tearing me apart! You're tearing me apart, Lisa! <laughs> Let the battle begin! Hi, Axe. How's your sex life? How oh, high, Mark? <laughs> it says I shot her. I did not. Was not a charge shot. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I that's one of my favorite lines from uh, the remake of Maverick Hunter X it's like right before Do Vile dies oh no not a charge shot <laughs> oh no cuts being power to the max after you've subsequently hit him with like 50 of them I get a kick out of that kind of like style with Capcom sometimes Basically, you 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 shoot like fifty charge shots, but it's that uh, for gameplay purposes, you never shot a single fire uh, charge shot at the boss. Yeah. Same thing for Resident Evil. You never got you got bit a hundred times, but you never got bitten once story wise. 
the, the trick is you just have to say Ouroboros with a really heavy flare, and then you'll be fine. God, there's a lot of fun you could have with that. That, that'd be kind of great if a game did a little bit of a parody of that, and like the two characters squaring off, and one of them says, Oh, what are you going to do, shoot me like I haven't been shot 50 times already? <laughs> well, you fool, have you not noticed that we're in a cutscene? Oh, God. <laughs> didn't, they, didn't they parody that once on uh, YouTube, if I remember? I also gave, I also gave um, Stoker a long time ago that ASMR line for Wesker. Hmm. No, no way. I, I didn't know that. That's great. Um, it was in. Uh, it was during um, Super Lesbian Animal RPG. I have to go back and look at that. Whoa. Oh, I need to. F I never finished that game. I assume it involved more animals and more lesbianism, but you never know. It actually started off life as a My Little Pony fan game. Hmm. Did it really? Yeah, yep. I remember the mention. Hasbro decided to shut that down, so they modified it enough to make it legally uh, distinct. Uh, ain't that how it goes? Well, it's funny that came up, because I'm pretty sure the person who did the Super Lesbian Animal RPG is actually the same person who writes the Fuck You Ken Penders blog. The what? Oh yes, the Fuck We've You Ken Penders blog. We Everybody have knows about that animal. We've completed the uh, space shuttle. It's uh, ready to launch at any time. Still, the problem is, who will maneuver it? Not it. <laughs> Nose goes. It's awkward having this kind of problem because basically one of us is going to die. <laughs> Everything else is taken care of. The uh, shuttle is ready. Let me know once you've dealt with the pilot issue. Wow. This is going to let us determine who gets sent. That's in time again. The space shuttle. Stand by. <laughs> it's still um, Douglas. Sorry. I was, there's something, I was reacting to the fresh idiot. I'm sorry. I was reacting to the fresh idiot. There's something, idiot. Idiot. There's something I want to take a look something at real I quick. Let's see if I can do this. Uh, yeah, that does that does not look good at all. That's something I'm gonna have to adjust later. I'm so I can take a oh. The space shuttle, stand by. I trust you, Zero. I'm sorry I couldn't do more for you. Don't mention it. This is my mission. If I die, X gets my stereo. I'm the only <laughs> pilot left, you know. Thanks for throwing me under the bus. You ass. Zero, I'll do Zero. it instead of you. X, you should stay here. Who else will protect the Earth? Don't talk as if you won't be back. I'm sure I'll be back. I won't die on such an easy mission. When I become a maverick, I think that's when I'll have died. Okay, Zero. I'll be waiting for you. So you better make it back alive. No promises. <laughs> wow, what an inch, Lord. Hey, uh, Bully. <laughs> it's about time, Zero. Okay, I'm ready. Ready, Zero? This is our last chance. Go get him, Dodger! Oh god, here we go. Blast off. Zero, here we go. be sure to come back safely. Zero! 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 Zero. What? That's not how you do a <laughs> countdown, X. What, what, what? what? <laughs> Zero, Zero, the colony is approaching. Go! 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 Uh, one for the money, two for the show, three to get ready, and four to get blown. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure it'll work this time. Zero will make it and get out okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. To okay. the space colony. Okay. I'll get as close to it as possible, but then, then I'll be able to abandon the shuttle. 
I saw lots of debris from the colony around here. I have to pilot the shuttle around the debris. Otherwise, the shuttle will be destroyed before it crashes into the colony. Yes. I mean, that's about how it works. Yeah, you don't want to hit debris. Yeah, that, that, that sucks. Uh, it's, uh, zero, I, I I believe you can do it. You totally can. But I believe in you. Thanks, Douglas. It's time to go. I'll cut the communication in five seconds and get out of here. Uh, zero, you need to study your webcam. Good luck, Zero. <laughs> Good luck, Zero. Seven seconds to impact. Five, four, three... three. Two, two, one. It what happened to the seven? What happened to one? <laughs> it crashed into the colony. Zero. <laughs> Why? Why would you crash into the colony? Just kidding. Thank you. The destruction of the colony is eighty-six percent. It'll be gone within ten minutes. We've succeeded. Hey. In destroying the colony and killing everyone on board. Hooray! Champagne! <laughs> Zero, can you, you read me? We saved the city. Zero, you're alive. Oh boy, I just lost all my money betting against that. Zero, can you hear? Can you read me? I feel... I feel zero. That's what she said. You feel like zero. I feel like zero now and then. Having a good hair day and all. Stop calling me, I'm trying to sleep! Can you hear me? <laughs> I managed to survive. We've all got a response from Zero. Hooray. Zero! You are alright? Are you alright? Tell Douglas he can shove it. It was challenging, but I'm okay. I didn't die this time. <laughs> Everything is fine. In heaven. I think I can <laughs> make it back to Earth. Bully. He'll get you from wherever you fall. Until then, try and get some rest. It won't be easy, though. After a few hours. We found Zero. He's safe. But he's hot. Very exhausted. We'll return to Hunter Base now. Oh, I love this music. Wait, what is that what reading? Is that reading? Hey, guys. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is exactly the same reading. Should we call this the zero virus? This scraps all the colony virus and the sigma virus combined together. I wonder what's going to happen. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, actually, no. New virus? Out of the what trying is... pan into the... F out of the frying pan into the fr fire. Why does it look so much like a tea? <laughs> a trying out of the pan trying you know. pan into the tire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the 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 the... yeah, the teas don't have the... The teas are smaller in this game. Compared to the F's. Yeah, that's weird. Right, that's weird. Hey, man, I just read whatever's put in front of me. For the moment, we've named it the Zero Virus. Holy shit, it's the plot of Mega Man Network Transmission. Ah, oh, shit. Uh -oh. Zero Virus? I'm reading a strong energy reaction from... A point, 11F5646. Very specific. Maybe we'll be able to solve the mystery of the Zero Virus, but it's very risky. What should we do? A Macarena. A Macarena. Hi! 
I know we can't escape, so we'll just have to fight it. We must bring it in. In, once and for all. Okay, so look. Okay, so I'm getting the good ending. Yep. Let's go. Because the. So yeah, here's the Gaia armor. Now you uh, see the the reason for the new virus is really quite simple. Uh, a very logical mistake. Uh, when Zero was piloting the shuttle, he pulled the Floygen when he should have pressed the Flaven. Roy Laven. Life shot. shot. S rank work right there. What smells like peanuts? You. I don't think Amy's cooking, is it? I don't know, Amy's here, maybe she's making something. He not but er, fucked up if you think about it. And Doc's been trying to get me to eat more uh more nuts. How's uh, that going for you? No, not too bad. I like peanut butter and and Almond and pecan butter is not too bad. Uh, cashews are decent. They're really fatty, but that's not really an issue since I've lost like 70 pounds uh, inadvertently this last year. Hmm. I had no idea I you were so good at taking nuts. I can't find enough. Oh, this is a shock to, to you? This, this is like the least surprising fact about me you could learn. All right, what's the can't. best nut, though? Uh. Well. Yeah, what is your favorite nut, like Kip? Health-wise health health or taste-wise? Just what? What's your personal favorite, Kip? Just let us know. Yeah, let us favorite? know in the comments down below. <laughs> let us know what kind of nut you'd like to take. Okay, serious answer the pistachio gang. Pistachios. Yeah. 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 There you go. Hey, look, the spike that X died to. Okay, Macadamia is good, though. And Larry. I answered in the comments. Right. Only do as I'm told. And I think Spike Rose Red is interesting. God damn it, this stage is literally into the jungle. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. Welcome to the jungle! We got the fucking thing! <laughs> you seeing some spikes, baby! You're gonna die! Dude, I actually love Guns N' Roses uh, for a time back when I was younger. I was really into them for a few years. Spaghetti Incident is their best album. Look it up, that's an actual album of Guns N' Roses, the Spaghetti Incident. It's spaghetti Incident. That's real. If you're trying to trick me uh, into looking up that 10 hour loop of lots of spaghetti again, I'm gonna kill you. No, it's not. It's an actual album by Guns N' Roses. Um, I would not recommend you listen to it though, because it actually sucks. But it's real. <laughs> Oh, you gotta play box games, if I recall. I was listening to, uh... I was listening to... 
at Shot Boys again oh. today. Some of their new stuff. Oh. Skeletons in the Closet I was listening to earlier. Oh, that's a banger. That's a very good one. You know, I was trying to... I have a character in this RPG who's uh, kind of a hedonist. Uh, gets into a lot of trouble despite doing his best. And the, the DM wanted to know, like, theme songs for us. And it took me a while, but I think it was finally a toss-up between Lana Del Rey's Gods and Monsters and It's a Sin. Both are, I get the point. Both are good. Actually, I do quite like LDR. I do, too. Uh, these boxes are just killing me. It doesn't help that the Gaia armor makes your firepower really uh, awful. I wonder what the V stands for. Virginia! Virginia! Maybe it's just a down arrow. I love you, but come on, you can't keep doing this! You heard Dragon Ball Z Bridge might be coming back? Uh, no kidding. That's did you see kidding. did you see the uh, Dragon Ball Abridged review of the Boo saga? I don't think I did, no. They uh they see what it is. It's they review the Boo saga and all the ups and downs, but if you want but they snuck in the voice actors for the Abridged series while well, reviewing it. Review specific parts of the series. Nice. Huh. It's a, it's a, it's on a YouTube channel called Totally Not Mark. <laughs> they bring back they the bring voice back. actor of Claptrap? <coughs> Claptrap? No. Yeah, no. There's that part in the Bridge series where they got the voice actor for Claptrap into it. It's actually gotten a lot of prestige. Isn't it? David Eddings, that's his name. When I watched the review, I got a good laugh out of it because they, of course, they referenced the infamous moment where Gohan uh, gets uh, gets his gets his uh, gets jumped by Videl. <laughs> oh boy! I'm sure everybody knows what I'm talking about there. You can dodge bullets, and you can and you can totally own me, and uh, so that means. I'm basically inferior to you in every way. And he's like, yeah, basically. Then she <laughs> pictures back that one scene where she got him. Just... And he's like, Why do you ask? He's like, oh, reason. I think if you push the top one first, maybe. Maybe. You know, they actually did a Final Fantasy VII abridged. Same crew? Yes. That was pretty good. I honestly don't... I only... I really wasn't uh, a huge fan of them when I was growing up. Because they basically were making fun of my favorite series at the time. But after some time, after some time I grew to like them. No, I, I mean, I can get that. Sometimes people get defensive. I, I personally find making fun of something that I love, something I find kind of rewarding, personally. Well, one of the problems uh, I have with them back then is that too many people would be quoting them uh, at that point because YouTube was popular back then, right? Mm -hmm. So some people would even say, like, well, a bridge is more famous than the original series, which would be dumb. But like I said, I understood what, uh, I understood that it was going to become popular and people were going to like it, and I liked it too. I'll never get tired of Piccolo blowing up the moon, by the way. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah. That was the problem. Is that it? It's really, it's really sort of a difficult way to say that they they might cross a line where people are going to start quality a bridge series more than the original series. But so then that's kind of something on its toes, kind of. Yeah, uh, but luckily, I am legitimately like trying to figure this out. But luckily, Dragon Ball recently started getting a sec uh, gotten another boom recently. And pretty much it started to eclipse uh, a bridge, like the bridge series again. So my worries were put to rest after that. 
what with the uh, Dragon Ball movies and Dragon Ball Broly and and the new main that it got. Like it's all good. You gotta check it out. Yeah, for sure. Things are right again. Exactly. Things are right again. So, um, one of the things I wanted to do. No, I think you had it, dude. I think you had it. I think you have to push the top one, push, fill the hole, and then you can push the top block to the edge. Fill the one. And then jump off of it. You can keep pushing it to the edge, yeah? Yeah! Nice. I think there's more, um... Right back again. I don't mind me if I'm doing these. I'm, I'm always busy. Right back. Uh, no worries. I might actually have to take a dinner break before too long myself. Yeah, yeah I think it is. I think I got everything I need, so I think it is time to enter into um, Sigma Fortress. But uh, I'm just going to go ahead and take this opportunity to use the bathroom. Have fun, no calling. That's okay, this is good music to leave it on. Oh, shoot, he says as the music stops. Oh, um, okay, then I'll leave the music on. Oh, well, thanks. Finger. I really love the Zero Virus music. You know, I when I got the Legacy Collection, it took me like three tries to get the good ending in this. That's fair. How are you on this lovely Saturday, Kit? Uh, kind of, kind of bleh. It's kind of sick all night last night, but doing oh, a little better today. Good. It happens. I, uh, it's happening less often than it used to, but still have bad patches. I see, I see. How about you? I'm alright. Truthfully, life's got me a little cranky, but I was looking forward to the stream. Yeah, no, these are fun, huh? Mm hmm. As long as Voli doesn't mention the, as long as Voli doesn't mention the Simpsons! <laughs> is Aiden just crashing then? I take it. Seems like it. Yeah. I mean, there's a good reason his avatar is uh, half asleep. I mean, work hasn't pushed, dude. I don't blame. Oh him. yeah. That's fair. No, I like. I don't even work a uh, particularly taxing job with software. But like, I can't take it out of you. Like, we've got a client who was calling me up because he's really mad at us that their thing broke, but it was the API gateway that broke, which is not a thing our company can do anything about, except like, contact them, right? And he wouldn't yeah. know or care. But that's the thing, like, they don't know how the technology works. They just see their things broken, right? Right. And so I, I normally don't directly interact with clients unless it's a technical issue. Uh, I'm kind of conflict avoidant, so Don't that blame you. that made my Friday a little long. Don't blame you at all. I just one thing that doesn't one thing that always one thing I never get is like you're calling somebody up to help you with a problem. And maybe, I get that maybe you're frustrated, but it's the same thing if, like, somebody screws up your fast food order. Do you really think getting mad about it is the best way to get people on your side? To make them go the extra mile to help you out? Yep. Yeah, I'd say quite the opposite. I don't know. It's okay. This is the same client who asked if, if we are our five-person company could call Apple and negotiate their fees on app transactions. 
<laughs> yeah, no. Well, you could negotiate with Apple. Yeah, yeah. No, no worries, yeah. lady. I got Tim Cook on speed dial. Everyone knows, right? Hey, uh, I just got a phone call. Um. Yo, you got a phone. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately, I am gonna have to end the stream here today. After what? I have uh, to. I have to end the stream because I have because. Oh. I plan to go to the meat. I plan to go to the meat market, and I completely f and I didn't know um, that was gonna pull me into this right now. Oh, no okay. No worries, man. That's all right. So make sure to bring us some meat. Yeah. So on. So we're gonna go ahead and finish off Mega Man X Five after Ultimania tomorrow. Yeah. Cool. Sounds good. Right. Yeah. We'll uh, see make you sure then. to bring me back some juicy uh, porterhouse. You got the zero. Go beat the meat. So, thank you all for joining. So, thank you all for joining us for this stream, and we'll see you all next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye.